Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. Today we're going to be talking about Bionano Genomics, and there's some news coming out of MD Anderson. Genomics has been releasing lots of different videos on their YouTube channel and one of the videos is coming out of their MD Cancer Center which is the largest or one of the best cancer centers in the world. It is located the MD Anderson Cancer Center in the Texas Medical Center in Houston. Yahoo listed the 25 uh, best cancer hospitals in the world or the best hospitals for cancer treatment in the world and they named MD Anderson as number one. Due to the aging population we have here in the world where we will reach around about perhaps 8.5 billion people by by 2030. With that population is estimated that around one in six people are going to be aged 60 or above by 2030 and it will reach 1.4 billion people compared to 1 billion in 2020. So the population is aging and it increases the population size that is at risk of cancer. In terms of the oncology market, the oncology drugs market is set to reach $274.4 billion by 2030. Anderson releasing news on bionanogenomics or one of the researchers from there is talking about bionanogenomics. This cancer center considered the biggest cancer center in the US and it heads a cancer network partner globally. In 2022, it spent $1.1 billion on research, provided uncompensated care worth of $309 million and it donated $250 million to causes working towards eliminating cancer. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, remember, none of this is financial advice for entertainment only. I'm not going to earn any money uh, from this because bionanogenomics, the music in the background is probably going to take it so please hit me with a thumbs up hit me with a subscribe drop me some comments down below and i'll catch you in the next video enjoy i am rashmi kanagal shumana i am a hematopathologist and a molecular pathologist at md anderson cancer center Structural variants are a key genomic abnormality in cancers. I do feel that they are under-evaluated and hence the prevalence is underestimated. Structural variants are extremely challenging to detect using the current technologies. Conventional cytogenetics, we know that is extremely low resolution. Fish technologies, it's using a targeted probe. It's not a whole genome approach. And chromosomal microarray has a much higher resolution, but unfortunately it cannot pick up balanced chromosomal rearrangements. I feel OGM is a perfect technology to bridge the gap between the traditional cytogenetic technologies and the molecular technologies to identify aberrations at single base pair level. The fact that the optical genome mapping uses ultra long DNA molecules, allowing the information on structural variations to be retained on these molecules, makes it a perfect technology to interrogate structural variants. It can pick up not only copy number gains and losses, it can pick up balance changes, the structural variations, chromosomal rearrangements, intrachromosomal, interchromosomal, inversions, partial tandem duplications. We know that it's concordant. We know that it's providing additional information of clinical value based on the data we have. OGM can consolidate multiple technologies into one. It not only saves money, it makes the workflow simpler. It provides the results faster. OGM can identify all aberrations in a matter of five days. Optical genome mapping has opened up a whole new door for me. OGM is actually throwing light into those parts of genome that have never been explored before. So I see a great potential here where there will be a whole new discoveries of biomarkers, actionable markers that will lead to improvement in patient care. I feel we are opening up a whole new world, accelerating the cure for cancer.